Hey guys and gals and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com in the immediate rigging series. If you enjoy it or learn something from the video, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity 3D, coding and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our motto, create your way. So last time we worked on copy location so that we could have one object move a certain way depending on the location of another object today i want to introduce copying uh rotation so that we can have one object when it's rotated um affect another object so i thought a good idea for this would be to create a simple um car rig so we'll see what kind of time i have and uh how good we can get it this one wasn't perfect at all but uh the doors rotate and open basically that my origin points aren't proper at all and the uh, the wheels rotate and you've got suspension travel that's still copying location and then when you grab the body the doors come with it and allow you to still do that and i think that's everything a fairly simple rig let me get rid of all this and we'll start from fresh this is just a model i got off of blend swap and then we'll go from there all right so pretty basic all i've done is um if i hide the body here the wheels are joined together they're not independent because i'm keeping this fairly simple basically the wheels have the origin roughly in the center so that if you rotate them around the z they um they turn again not 100 percent realistic but we're going for simplicity here and i'm going for speed to a certain degree and the doors origins are set to where the hinges would be in real life so that when you uh, rotate them along the z they essentially open and close so we're going to set up kind of a rig for that so anyways i'm going to unhide the body and we're going to get started so i'm simply going to move the cursor to center and i'm just going to add say an empty single arrow I'm going to grab it along the X so that we can see it. I'm going to rotate it along the X 90 degrees. I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to turn on screencast keys, I suppose. Then I'm going to rotate the duplicated one um, along the X negative one, 180. So it's a mirror. And I'm going to call that one door.r control. And I'm going to call this one door.l control and then same deal we will add a empty circle and we'll rotate it along the x 90 degrees and grab it along the x and we'll put it somewhere in there and we will call that wheels.front control and um, sometimes what I like to do when I use a circle for doing rotating things is I like to actually make a mesh instead that is a circle with a line coming from the front point at exactly, uh, at exactly well, uh, basically in a direct line along the axis that goes right to the center so that you kind of know where it's pointing at all times, almost like a compass. But uh, this will work for our purposes. So the first thing we can do is uh, set up the doors. That's fairly easy. That'll introduce um, copying loc or copying uh, rotation, sorry. And then I want to uh, introduce a new technique. I don't believe we've gone over it called uh, limiting. So we're going to limit the uh, rotation in this case so that the doors don't swing into the body or whatever. So it looks like they're actually opening and closing. So we'll start with the driver's door for first, the door.l. So we're just simply going to add an object constraint, a copy rotation, and we want to copy the door.l control. And you'll see it gets all out of whack, but that's because we only want to copy the Z uh, rotation. So I'll uncheck the X and Y and it goes back to normal. So we can give it a test. If we rotate our control now along the Z, you'll see that it looks like it's swinging op open. And you can just hit R and rotate and it'll work the same way. It's essentially um, wherever it's going to rotate in the in the Z location is... Um, it'll only affect the Z since that's how our constraints set up. However, we could set up a constraint on this one so that it no when you hit R to rotate, you don't have to hit RZ. But we'll get into that uh, another time or later. 
Anyways, right now, like I said, it swings all the way around. So how do we fix that? Well, quite easily, we can uh, we can add a constraint either to our controller or to the door. It doesn't really matter. I'll add it to the door. So first, we need to find out how many degrees to rotate it, though. Obviously, the minimum is going to be zero, completely closed, and the maximum would be somewhere around, I'd say, a door would open something like that. So about 67, 65, we'll say 65 degrees. So we'll add a new constraint. Like I said, this will be a new one. Um, we will add a limit rotation. So now we're copying the rotation, but we're also limiting it. We're, we're telling Blender, yes, copy it, but only so far and then stop. So we want to limit the uh, Z. The minimum, like I said, is going to be zero, completely closed. And the maximum we said will be about 65 degrees. So let's see how that works. Now when we rotate this along the Z, it's going the wrong way. So we just need to simply reverse that so our minimum will be negative 65 and our maximum will be zero so now when we rotate this along the z it rotates negative 65 degrees i can go further but it won't go any further and then i can go and then it stops at zero and i can go further but it won't go any further now if i really rotate around back past um 180 it essentially takes that as zero and then it snaps back so that can be fixed by adding a another limit uh a limit rotation to this object or um or doing more advanced things but that, that works for right now i'm sure that's perfectly usable for whatever you would be doing so yeah that door now works um I don't think I really need to copy it on the other door. I may, depending on if we have time or not. So now we're going to take our circle, our front wheel control, and it's very, very similar. So we're going to take our front wheels. I'll hide the body for now. We're going to take our front wheels, and we're going to add the same thing, a copy rotation. And we want to copy the uh, wheel dot front control and only on the Z again, you'll see that with the X and Y, it made um, some weird things happen. So now when we rotate this along the Z, it rotates, but obviously uh, wheels and well, most cars don't rotate like that. Um, so I found a good setting is about negative and plus and minus 10 degrees. So we want to set up you know what this time I can even set up on the on the actual controller just to show you how that works. So we're gonna do a limit a limit rotation. We're gonna limit the Z a minimum of negative ten and a maximum of ten. So that should if we rotate along the Z, rotate only ten degrees and back only ten degrees. So if we unhide the body, just like that. And you'll see because I added the limit uh, limit rotation to the Z on on this controller, it um it's a, easier to use. You don't necessarily have to hit R Z. You can just rotate, and it'll go um, only as far as it's allowed. But rotating along the Z does get you the more uh, more precision essentially. So yeah, essentially that's turning wheels. In it's very basic form so that shows that you can put it on the controller or on the actual mesh itself so that is essentially the basics of it going back to going back to copying location you could also um you could add in another another arrow whoops wrong one and you could have uh everything basic copy the the Z location of that for essentially like suspension so an easy way to do that I'll just call this arrow say suspension an easy way to do that is to um, just add an empty for example and then we'll parent everything to it selecting this one last and then control P to parent and so now it's all parented to that just like so We'll send this to uh, an empty layer just so it's out of our way. So I'm going to hit M to move. I'm going to move it to the garbage layer, layer 11. And now we're just going to take this empty 
and add another copy location as we learned about last time in the Z direction and we want to copy suspension. So now when we grab the suspension uh, arrow along the Z, the entire thing moves up and down with kind of uh, really easy and quick suspension if you will. And yet when we still rotate our door control it still opens and closes the door and when we rotate our wheel controller it still rotates the wheels no matter where we have the uh, the empty set at so we could have our car way back there and we still have our kind of suspension and this all still works and that still oops that still works so that empty could almost be like a car location, uh, a way to place your car in a certain location. Now you are limited in quite a few ways with this. Um, everything's quite constrained, hence constraints. So when we move on to more complicated things like, um, like tracking and inverse kinematics and transformation uh, constraints, we'll get we'll get things like this that aren't limited in the ways that we're limited here. For example, um, just off the top of my head, if I wanted to rotate my car um, along the Z so that it was turning, you can see everything gets all messed up. Now everything is still going to work, but not as we originally set it up. So that becomes a problem, but that becomes fixable. You could probably do it with these ones with enough work and thinking outside the box. But um, doing it this simply, you run into that issue, and that's why we would need something more advanced, like, say, the transformation constraint, which we will get into. But like I said, I wanted to keep these videos pretty short, around 10 minutes in length at the most so thanks for watching from the team here at blendertech.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something consider liking it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos we're now on twitter at twitter.com slash blender underscore tech that's at blender underscore tech and facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page all one word if you dislike this video for some reason don't just hit the thumbs down button and leave instead please leave us a comment about what you did not like or what we can improve on if or if it's private email us at info at blender .com so that we can continually improve our videos based on your community input we also take requests and call for help so if there's something you'd like to see or there's something you're having trouble with just let us know and we can create a video for you so anyways see you next time and remember create your way and in the next part of the series, in part three, we will be going over copy scale, the last of the transformations. And I will find out, I will figure out something that would be appropriate for that so that we can have copy location, copy rotation, and scale. Something that makes sense, maybe something mechanical or something. I'll have to do some thinking before we get on to the, the intermediate and complicated um, constraints so anyways hopefully that gives you some ideas for your for your models and regs this can be used for say airplane control surfaces for simple car setups for um some character stuff and so yeah just get creative and hopefully this helps you so see you next time